What is good, Hellraisers? Welcome back to our brand new episode. Today we're going to be talking about a gun that is uh, probably rarely used nowadays, whether it be in Warzone or multiplayer, but at some point it was a pure beast, very dominant in Warzone. It is the Ram 7. Now the Ram 7, the more the more the peculiarity that it had was that it's very stable. I mean the amount of recoil you had was very minimal. It would beam enemies. Um, I believe it was season one, yeah, from the start of the game, and then season three, where people really started using it, and it was a it was a beast. I mean, uh, you were sure that if you were killed and you didn't know how the other person got you, um, it was either one of the OP weapons uh, or, or the Ram Seven. Now the Ram Seven, I don't think it had a meta state because they didn't really receive any uh, significant ner uh, nerf. Um, all that happened is that the other guns got uh, stronger, so they didn't really. Uh, this, this gun really didn't really follow up. If you're trying to see a few team maps, some nice kills with the Ram 7, please check my videos in my channel. Just type uh, Ram 7 uh, kills or the best uh, kills. It's definitely going to be on one of those videos. Um, yeah, I, I remember one of my teammates in the uh, season 1, we used to play only with it. And he used to always be the top scorer until I realized that he was actually using the Ram 7. At that time I didn't have the gun unlocked, I was playing with the, the Kilo that wasn't really that good at the start of the game. You had to have a level up to, uh, to what do you call it, to compensate for that recoil. Anyways, for the Ram 7, this video is going to be pretty short because uh, we're talking about the best blueprint that you, you can have for the Ram 7. But the only one that you can unlock is actually the Ambush. Even the Ambush is one that you unlock through uh, specific missions, challenges in uh, multiplayer. So uh, if you don't have multiplayer for Modern Warfare, you won't be able to unlock it. But if you do and you want to unlock it, there is no season for it. This one is a season 3 rare blueprint before the integration of Cold War into Warzone. So it's a very long time ago, but you can still unlock it. If you want to know how to uh, complete these missions, please check my other video. Um, I talk about each and every blueprint and how to unlock them. So that would help you best. Um, again, if you don't want to go through all that hassle, you just want the attachments for, the, for this gun in case you caught it as a... Um, ground loot and you just want to know what it uh, what it's all about you have the FSS Ranger Barrel the FTAC Equilibrium Stock and the Frangible Wounding Perk now I'm not too sure if these perks work on uh, Warzone or not I'm pretty sure they work in multiplayer um, you can give it a try and uh, let me know what you uh, what you think if you have the level if the gun uh, leveled up you can always go with a few other attachments such as of course the uh, monolithic suppressor for the um, uh, what do you call it for the muzzle, you can go with a uh, the barrel's good. You can go with a, a scope depending on if you're playing a close quarter uh, resurgence or Verdansk or the new map, whatever it is. Uh, you have to adapt to whichever distance you you're playing. And of course, I would suggest going with a larger magazine. Uh, but yeah, fully automatic uh, bullpuff 556 assault rifle from XRK designed to dominate close quarter engagements. Okay, features an optional custom. Uh, chrono precision optic and good selection of uh, barrels. The M7 is the ideal uh, rifle for aggression and determined operators. Honestly, uh, it is. I mean, it's a very uh, aggressive uh, uh, assault rifle, even though the mobility is, uh, is at risk with this uh, build, but the fact that you have the accuracy, the damage, the range, and the control, it's, it's pretty deadly. To be honest, the fact just that it doesn't have that much recoil gives you a huge edge over your competition. You're, you're going to make sure you, you waste very minimal bullets and uh, down the guys very, very quick. So this is pretty much it for the Ram 7. Let's see if they have... Uh, yeah, they have four in the store that you can buy. I'll let you guys know if they're any good. So this one is from Season 2. The camouflage is not all that, but you have the lightweight suppressor. It's alright. The model thick is a better option. The FSS Ranger is the same as the last one. The Scout Combat Optic. This is more of a... Uh, to change between the uh, medium to long range. Yeah, they have Tech Equilibrium stock, same as the free... Uh, blueprint on the range of foregrip for that extra um, accuracy. As you can see the accuracy is sky high, range is sky high, mobility suffers a lot and control is there. So if you're using this build you don't even need to buy the, the blueprint, all you have to do is to uh, <coughs> use these attachments and uh, yeah it's going to be pretty much of a, a support weapon. You do not want to attack with this especially with that much mobility gone. The Dance Macabre, okay I've never heard of this one, season 6, pre-integration of Cold War into Warzone. Let's take a look. The FSS Ranger Barrel, TAC Laser, GI Mini Reflex, XRK Close Quarters, and Command and Foregrip. This is definitely for an attack. Close range, close range, close range, maybe some medium range, but definitely close range. Um, accuracy is high, range is high, control is high. I mean, they even had, took the time to add the range. 
Um, it's weird, but you do have to stick and move with this gun because you don't have a uh, suppressor. So uh, people are going to be uh, running after you. They're gonna, you're going to be showing up everywhere. Plus, you don't have that much ammo, so you're going to have to reload. Um, but yeah, other other than that, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good build for it. It's not too bad. Glitchy trigger season two pre-integration of uh, Cold War into Warzone. Monolithic suppressor. Now that's the best suppressor you want. Forge tech. Oh, that's a beautiful gun. Nice aesthetics. Pew pew pew. <laughs> I see a lot of kids buying this. Forge tech, collapsible barrel, PBX, a hollow seven sight, a step up grip tape, which is the best grip tape you can have on the monolithic on the uh, mono warfare guns. The uh, M204 40 high explosive. This is the noob tube uh, grenade. I mean, you don't really use this in uh, Warzone that much. It's more of a. I think this is more of a gun just to have fun with and play multiplayer. Higher accuracy, range, mobility, and control suffer. Uh, so yeah, it's really one of those game modes where you don't really care if you die, you just get a few kills and level up the gun. Uh, but yeah, nothing too fancy. Last but not least, the Mariama Cherry Blossom Tracer for Season 6. I think this is the, uh, this is the best looking uh, for this gun so far. Monolithic Suppressor, that's great. Forge attack, collapsible barrel, pretty good. Uh, I think it's the best uh, barrel for this gun. 50 round magazine, absolute beast. Stipple grip tape, the best grip tape, and the range of four grip for that uh, horizontal recoil. Now, honestly, this is the build that I would use. You know, I don't, I don't see any other thing that I would do. Maybe I would remove the under barrel and increase a uh, no um, no stock in order to compensate for that mobility that you lost. Especially if uh, if I'm playing like uh, close to mid uh, quarters. But if if you're playing a support gun, I mean, this is pretty solid. You don't really need that much of a, an optic for this gun because you don't have that much recoil. So as long as you fix the guy, you're uh, you're gonna get him. But again, it depends. Some people like playing with iron sights, some people don't. But uh, if you'd have to try out the weapon or don't have uh, that much experience with it, I think this would be a great uh, a great addition to an arsenal. Of course, you could just try and level it up and then add these attachments to it in order to maximize uh, the uh, the kills and get the most out of it and get the golden or platinum or whatever you're going trying to go for. Uh, I don't suggest you buy it just because of the uh, attachments. Maybe if you like the aesthetics and the uh, tracer rounds, then maybe okay, buy it. But otherwise, um, it's not worth it. So that's pretty much it for the for the video. If you guys have any other questions regarding the Ram 7, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, again, this is an old school gun. Um, uh, it still does a lot of damage. I'm not too sure how it performs compared to the uh, newer uh, Cold War guns and probably Vanguard guns. It's probably going to take a back seat, but uh, if, you, if you're one of those that are playing this uh, Modern Warfare games a lot, uh, a, lot later, a lot later than everybody and you're trying to get the Damascus or you just felt like you don't want to, you want to take a break from uh, Warzone and play with the Modern Warfare multiplayer, level up everything, these are the best attachments you have and uh, you can go away. That's pretty much it for the video. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll get you guys as quick as possible. Take it easy guys, Till next time. Oh, he went to wait. Down there. One on the ledge. Oh! I just sent you a fast <laughs> <laughs> Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. What a double kill. <laughs> Fucking six bullets. One bullet. What the? What have they been doing? His friends pressure with him. Someone go get that. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. No, on me, on me, on me, on me, on me. I know. Best come in. Thank you. Sammy, I was mean, like looking at him then, he was like taking 10 minutes to reload. <laughs> Where's the guy? I killed one, I killed one in this house. He said he killed one. 
so they're coming. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, there's another team. I'm reloading. I think it's hard. Fuck! Summer. <laughs> <laughs> I broke him. Oh, fuck him. Dude, he's, his friend's upstairs. Watch out. Oh, yes. Twenty-three meters. I come to the water. Oh, no, Got no ammo. Yeah. Enemy. Enemy. Yeah. 